Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on the Republic Attack Shuttle and the Armored Assault Tank, or AAT set, from 2009, of course. So, first off are the mini picks included in the bowl. So, from left to right, as we would have for the AAT is which uh, Clone Wars or Yoda, or otherwise Clone Wars Yoda in this case, for his uh, new head for the specific headpiece to uh, which well captures his appearance from the show quite well. And also, back part of it with the hair and all done quite good as well but um and of course unlike other versions of yoda it's is a soft rubber to it so although it does kind of pop off quite easily like if it gets worn out over time but at least until the later 2013 or so version of yoda kind of fixed that but yeah oh wait there was one other version in 2013 with a little different torso printing but this one exclusive to just this set so aside from that it does look quite nice of course and also like most figs at this time well for the early half of 2009 is has the uh, plain gray uh, lightsaber hilt well at least until later that year they went over went back to uh, shiny silver instead of chrome silver, but yeah. And now for the rest of the figs, next to him is a regular phase one clone trooper, and this which only one in the whole set, of course, but would have been nice if they included like one more for that for army building. And of course, these are which common in most sets. And also, the usual, uh, Clone War style clone face, of course, but, but of course, same with on the clone pilot here, here as well, but yeah. And then next to which is what is which is what you're looking at. One, you know, one. That one, but you also do get uh, one other battle droid, regular battle droid, of course. So which is quite common as ever, but still nice to have for army building. And then also do you have next to which is the super battle droid, oh, which also common as well, but also this is the rocket arm ver or shotgun arm version. Which I think did come in one or two other sets, of course. You can see it. Kind of at least quite interesting to see here. And also you do get not just this one, this one, but also so two others as well, of course. So still great for army building, of course. Also would be nice if they were around again in other sets, but whatever. Oh, and also phase one clone trooper does appear in both sets, of course, but and as for the clone pilot here, uh, kind of the same as in a few other sets like the V-19 Torrent and whatnot. And for the Republic Attack Shuttle, the only thing fig exclusive of, to it is, of course, uh, Clone War style Mace Windu. And one of the only times we've ever had Mace Windu, well, after 2005, and at least until a couple, set, a couple other sets after also am, but probably in Clone War style, but at least then in regular style, but yeah. And of course, well, his front torso printing and face print with the Clone War style, uh, quite good for what they are, and not in only uh, leg printing, of course, but at least until the 2013 version kind of got that. And, and of course, wielding the purple lightsaber, obviously. And, where, and also, it's a nice back torso printing for both of our troopers and Yoda and Mace Windu, none, none at all. But uh, well, probably because since they're earlier figures, but yeah. 
And that is it with the mini figs included. First of which is the AAT set. And as for this one of which, as you can see, it's quite good for how it is, so quite large compared to the previous AATs. And of course, this of which, like, second time we've ever had it, at really, least until, unlike the first version, which was in 2000, and then suddenly the, but that was episode 1 version, and then second episode 1 version 2015, and of course we did get one other version of this, but in 2020, of course. But that's for like the front part of which, as you can see, there's two of those large dish pieces, but one's more open than the top part of it, and you can see a couple stickers on it, and there's quite a few stickers in this set, of course. And also, like the other versions, had this dome bit to it. Of course, and <clears throat> as for the side of which, some good jagged slope action for that, which were common at the time. <coughs> and also, one of those kind of pieces, and used as like venting or something. And then also, so one of those odd curved uh, slope pieces, quite in, quite neat to see there. And then as for the side bits, which as you can see are more thicker than other ones, of course, and still do, oh whoops, rotate up and down, of course, and whereas interesting thing is, as for these side plate bits, where, where on the instructions of which say you can just have it this way, but in like, on the covers, on the boxes and everything, they say have it like this, of course. Not sure why that is, but whatever. And of course, does have the flick fire missile, which was a common thing for sets at the time. Well, and of course, the later two versions then also got the uh, uh, springlet launchers, but in the bottom part, of course. Well, and as for the center part of which, which does have this large uh, hatch piece to it, but it lifted and open, and then there's which a little control spot there, but there's a little more to that, which I'll go over later. And as for this, so back section is like the other versions, it has a large dome piece on it and whatnot. And as for the back part of which, as you can see, it has a few black studs on there, probably to be like it's forward boosters or something. And if you want what this back part is for, well, if you like take this out and then pull this out and it's a little uh, battle station like thing. Oh, which where you can place a battle droid onto a course. Oh, hang on. Uh, okay. And of course, like that. Then you can just. And if you wonder what this bump fit for, it is to clip into a clip right in there. Okay. Oh, which, which quite nice feature to that, so you can like access it easily and. Or you can just drop it in the front part if you wanted, but whatever. And for, as for the bottom part of it, is like the other versions, have those like rounded dish uh, bottom pieces done quite well and do move around quite nicely. And as for this top part of which, as you see, it does turn a whole 360 and quite nicely. And also a nice dome piece and also or dish piece for the top part of it, and of course does have one of those odd plate pieces, if I get this off, one of those plate pieces that we have seen on most earlier sets for that, so at least good to see here, and of course you can lift that up, and also have a little bit of 
some open space, but not at all any control panels in there to do so. And of course, enough space to fit another battle droid into a course. I would also like the other version. And as for the front uh, cannon, which built quite interestingly, and it, I think it's quite long enough to signify it, but which, unlike how other versions end up being like a little too long, and does of course pivot up and down quite goodly, and of course does have one of the, that interesting piece in black would probably to make it a little bit smooth and whatnot. But yeah, and that is about it with the AAT. Now on to the Republic attack shuttle. Of course, interesting, cool ship that, or vehicle that we've never got to see in any other form of which, well, except for a poly bag and all, but actual set form like this, never, of course. And also, not sure if you remember that in the Bad Batch, there is one kind of like this, but except does hold a little cargo crate underneath it, of course, but of course, if this were remade, I would expect there to also be there, have that, of course, but maybe time will tell, but anyways, as for the front part of which, would, of course, oh, whoops, which, as you can see, it's built quite nicely, like a few large plates around with some good snot techniques, of course, and and of course have the common cockpit piece of most sets, of course. If I like, I can lift this forward and lift this back part forward. And, and of course, as you can see, uh, there is two blue seats on there, but not at all any controls or whatever. Or maybe mine just didn't come with that, of course. And of course, enough space to fit both of your clone trooper minifigs up in. Oh, whoops, and, you can, and like close them on there about onto them nice and securely and if you look from this angle then you see there's quite large gaps in there but if this were to be remade I would expect there to be uh, not much of gaps of course and also do have a couple of technic bits here with the rods lightsaber rods on it but acting as little turrets of which of course and as for the other area where I see it does have a few other technic bits acting as pretend blasters, of course. And as for the for the like wing part of which, which just like the uh, Tidarium shuttle and whatnot, does fold up downwards, of course. And I see nice, interesting texture on the wings with a couple smooth plates in a couple spots, but yeah. and of course random yellow on. And as for this little section is. As you can see, it has a few of those odd pieces there, but to some good use there. Kind of like Palpatine shell in 2010, of course. And now, also some good snot technique up here, of course, with these rounded bricks, of course. <coughs> and now for the back part of which, as you can see. It does have a few, plenty of clear blue uh, studs on it, representing thrusters, of course. And if you wonder what these Technic bits here are for as well, I'll show that in a little while, or in a little bit. But yeah. And also, from the bottom part, does have two of those like archway pieces, which we barely see much. But nice to see here, of course. And for these yellow bits right here, that you can just pull those off and then lift this whole roof part up and of course it does have extra chair in there probably to sit your mace windu minifig into and also a little spot to hold the troopers blasters and and also if notice these like a few little rods that are made of like lime green and yellow cone pieces well it's for a couple of features for that, and and now what's that large hole in there for? Well, that large hole, 
people for? Well, it's for one of the features. Oops. And put and clip together, and well, if you have the under those uh, sticking out slopes. Uh, hang on. Okay. And so for the features, is I pick this up and also fold the wings out right downwards. And there it is in its flight mode, of course. Still looking quite cool. <coughs> and so now, for one feet. But also, if you notice this little thing here, it shoots the uh, flick fire missile is over here. And of course, drops right on down. And of course, and the beam falls right out. So that is a quite fun feature. And of course, with all the flip fire missiles fired out, you can just uh, pin them in and drop it back down. And, and of course, little, and of course, done with rubber bands and type mechanism in there, and a little blue slot in there to know where to drop it in. And, oh, and also another feature is, if you notice these Technic bits here, is you can just drop those things down, which also a good fun feature, so plenty of good, play of fun, good bit of playability to it. And so now, on to the final verdict. For my overall work, I think the, these are which AAT, quite good set for the time, and the Republic Attack Shuttle, I would, quite cool, great set for the time. Like, got get playing good playability out of both of them, or Republic Attack Shuttle, quite a bit, a little bit more than AAT, but at least good companion set to that. And although the 2020 version, not sure of the AAT, not sure why Republic Attack, Attack Shuttle would have come out for that, but maybe it'll come back for like the Bat Batch or whatever, but yeah. And as for the size for prices, well, I think they are which quite good for that, and also good size for pieces, or good price for pieces as well, of course, and, and of course both of which exclusive mini things, like Yoda and Mace Windu in both of them, and also for the AAT, good for army building for like both battle droids and super battle droids, of course, but yeah. And so now, if you still still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.